Hello everyone, this video will be about getting Visual Studio set up with Unreal Engine so that you can begin coding your games in C++. We are assuming that you already have Unreal Engine installed, so if you don't have Unreal installed then please watch our video on how to do so, link to that video is in the description below. But if you already have Unreal Engine installed then proceed to go to visualstudio.microsoft.com downloads and find the button labeled free download under where it says community and Visual Studio 2019 or whatever the newest version of Visual Studio is. Then click that button and it will start the download for a bootstrapper file that will install the Visual Studio installer application. When the bootstrapper file is finished downloading, go to where that file was downloaded to and double click it to run it. And then you'll be asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just select yes to the prompt. And you'll also be asked to agree to Microsoft's privacy statement as well as their software license terms. Just select continue to this prompt. And then this will start the installation for the Visual Studio installer. Once the Visual Studio installer has finished installing, the installer will actually open up and you'll see something that looks like this. Now make sure you have the workloads tab selected and then scroll down to where it says game development with C++. Check off this checkbox and then click the install button on the bottom right. And what this will do is not only will it start the installation for the Visual Studio Core Editor and IDE, but also the necessary tools to work with Unreal Engine. Once Visual Studio is finished installing, Visual Studio should open up automatically and usually it'll prompt you to sign in with your Microsoft account credentials. Now I've already signed in so it hasn't prompted me, but normally what you would see is a form asking for your email address and password. Just fill out those fields and then sign in. And then once you sign in, you can now use Visual Studio. To test that we have everything installed correctly, open up Unreal Engine. I have a shortcut here, but I also have it open up already. And then once you have Unreal Engine open up, go to the new project tab, and then instead of blueprints, select the C++ tab. And I'm going to choose the first person template and just name your project whatever. For example, I'm gonna name it test, it doesn't really matter. And then click the create project button. Once your project has been created, I just want to show you guys a setting for those people with multiple versions of Visual Studio installed. So go to edit on the top left here and then go to editor preferences. And then under where it says general, go down to where it says source code and you'll see an option labeled source code editor that's linked to a drop down menu with multiple versions of Visual Studio. And this is where you would specify the version of Visual Studio that you want Unreal Engine to default to. Since in this video we only installed one version of Visual Studio, we're not going to mess with this setting. But if you did have multiple versions of Visual Studio installed, you would choose the version of Visual Studio that you would prefer to use with Unreal Engine and then select it. And then once you do select it, you're going to have to restart Unreal Engine for the change to take effect. Now I'm just going to close out of here and let's go to file here because I want to show you guys the two commands that that source code editor option is linked to. You're going to see here under where it says package project, you're going to see refresh Visual Studio project and open Visual Studio. These two commands are directly linked to using that Visual Studio version specified in the source code editor option in your editor preferences. Now to test these commands, let's close our instance of Visual Studio of the project that was automatically open when we made the project and then go back to file on the top left and then select open Visual Studio and you'll notice that it'll use Visual Studio to open our project. But if you specify the version in the source code editor option in the preferences to be something else like Visual Studio 2017, if you have it installed, then it would have opened the project with Visual Studio 2017. And we can go back actually to file and now we can select refresh Visual Studio project just to test the option, make sure it's working. To see if the refresh worked, go to Visual Studio where your project is loaded and you'll see a prompt labeled file modification detected. Just select the reload button here and let your project reload. After your project is reloaded, let's actually start adding some code now. So go to the right hand side, you'll find the folder labeled games and under the folder labeled games, you'll see your project name and then under that you'll see a folder labeled source. Expand that, you'll see a folder labeled your project name, expand that and you'll see a bunch of C++ and header files. I'm going to specifically work in the character class, which should be labeled by name of project character.cpp. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an include statement right here at the end of this long list. Hashtag include in double quotes, 
game framework slash character movement component that h and now we're going to go into the constructor here that starts at line 21 i'm going to add code at the end of this constructor i'm going to make a variable of type u character movement component star i'm going to name it movement comp and i'm going to set it equal to get character movement and i'm going to set the speed of this movement comp the max walk speed so to do that just type what i'm typing here movement comp arrow max walk speed i'm going to set it to 2000 just the large value because the default value in unreal for the max walk speed is 600 so i'm just doing this to make sure that we can see a difference in our code and to do that just make sure in this drop down menu under where it says debug make sure that you have development editor selected for the solution configuration and then for the drop down menu right next to it select win 64 if you're using a 64-bit windows machine for your solution platform now if you're using 32-bit windows then use win 32. once you have those settings set Go again to the right hand side under the games folder, right click your project here and select build. And let your project build, you should see an output window pop out here on the bottom of your Visual Studio. And you know your build has succeeded if it says at the end of this output window, build succeeded. Once the build has finished, you'll know that the code is compiled successfully and we should see the changes in our code reflected in our game. So let's go to our game. Let's click on the play button here and let's just walk around and you'll notice that I'm walking very, very fast. Now let's actually escape to stop the game and let's go back to Visual Studio and let's set the walk speed to something really small like 100 and do the same thing. Right click your project under the games folder and select build. Once again, once your build is finished, let's go back to Unreal Engine. Now when we play the game, you'll notice that we are walking very, very slow. Literally so slow that you can't even notice the movement. So that's pretty much it, guys. You have now successfully installed Visual Studio, ran it, and tested it with Unreal Engine. And if you found the video helpful, then please like, subscribe, Join our Discord, we have a great community. Support us on Patreon if you like these types of tutorials and want to see more. And as always, have a nice day.